All right, it's gonna be the most awesome video you guys have seen. It's one of those days again, mail day. Hopefully something good, hopefully something filmmaking related. And then, you know, this week I guys can kind of see what new gear, uh, accessories, lenses, whatever it is that I got in here, uh, I might be uh, doing reviews for in the future or, or using in a future film or things like that. And if you guys have any questions about the stuff that I got here, what I think of it, like obviously first impressions, uh, let me know in the comments below. First one, maybe I'll let me get with this, uh, start off with this box. This uh, it says fragile. Some of these I got a few days ago and I just been kind of throwing them around the office, to be honest. Now these are, uh, all of these boxes that I got, these are things that I did not order, meaning these are uh, either like loaners or uh, companies just sending me products, I guess, for for my consideration, for me to possibly use on my next feature film, short film, whatever it is that I might be filming. Somebody sent me this thing, all-in-one video transfer, photos, film slides, Ambico. Forgot the person's name, but there was somebody on Facebook, I believe it was, that messaged me after they saw that I, um, basically, the, the, the guy basically saw that I, I got the projector, 60 mil, mil, millimeter projector, and that I was planning to transfer my uh, film that I shot on 16 mil to video and he was saying I should try one of these things and well it says it's for 8 millimeter film so I don't know if it's gonna work with 16 mil but uh, but we're gonna try it so thank you very much for this nice gift and I'm definitely gonna do follow-up videos about that about the whole process of me uh, trying to digitize my first feature film that I directed which was shot on 16 millimeter film all right next box up here from Denver, Colorado. Oh man, this is really heavy. I don't know if you guys can see much because I got these other boxes in the way. Maybe I'll move them. So it's like a whole case. You see I got return shipping labels. So it's a loaner. It's camera goat. I'm not lying. And what is camera goat? So yeah, it's like a little, little kind of a camera platform cart with uh, skateboard wheels. Uh, and then you put your tripod head on, on top of here. And it acts like a, like a dolly, I guess. So camera goat and it comes with uh, with uh, lots of other neat looking pieces here. I believe they're from the for the truck. Like always I'm going to play around with it later. But thank you camera goat for sending this out and trying so I can try it out. I got two of these really big long boxes and I'm guessing those are the tracks for it because what else could they be? So okay it's like a nice leather kind of case. It's like a nice looking uh, material very smooth not the lightest not the heaviest either watch the follow-up video where i actually have a you know a chance to test this out and uh and show you guys what i think all right this is from jtz hey they sent a whole bunch of stuff look at this a cage for the gh4 and I, you know, if you know me, you know I love the, my GH4. Uh, I've actually started using the this company's the G, GTZ, GTZ. I've started using their kind of testing out their Ursa rig that they sent to me, and it's I gotta say, you know, so far amazing, amazing things that they like some really cool features they they built, where it's not just a cage, but it's actually like it sends electronic information and all that stuff. Uh, and this looks like it's the same kind of a thing, so has see the, the little like a trigger buttons uh oh so you can extend it actually has a hot shoe mount up here so it's fully functional that's extended on top uh has the re or z here attachment has like it's just this company looks like they really are stepping up the game send in their follow focus dp30 pretty cool a matte box 4x4 dp30 filmmaker system there's a lot of little boxes. Uh, oh, some all kinds of extension cables. Man, there's a lot of more boxes in here. <laughs> Everything says DP30, filmmaker system. So I don't know if it's all like parts that are interchangeable or what. Oh, okay, because it communicates electronically with the Sony cameras. And it's like a whole cage that should fit. It's fairly big size. So it should fit like Sony A7S II to uh, 60 a6500 or whatever or even the smaller ones there's another sony cage i guess for another sony camera i have to like really look into this so this is what c5 oculus this is like a v-mount battery plate 
Looks like you can power, I guess, all these batteries using V-mount. And there's more boxes, man. <laughs> They've really gone all out. Another filmmaker system, doesn't say what it is, so... Again, you'll have to stay tuned for me actually opening this stuff up, or actually using it, I mean, and thing. And there's another extension arm. Man, they went all out. Thank you, thank you, JTZ. Make some space here, what is, what is next? We got two more packages here. Getting a workout with these boxes. Oh, I think I know what it is. One of the companies I really like because they do a lot of cool products. Looks like the, the ring from Came TV for their Came TV Prodigy, the big gimbal that they have. No, it is Came TV, yeah. See, they send like a little battery play too. It says Came TV. They just don't have their name. At least I don't see it on, on this thing. But this was, yeah, this is like this big ring that you put so you can actually hold that, you know, gimbal like this. It also has like a little stand here that swivels out so you can put this on the ground basically like this and then the whole gimbal will stand on that and then you can lift it up like this and operate it which many other kind of gimbals now gimbal manufacturers already offer this and it's good that uh came tv came up with this thing because it's very useful when you're using uh that big gimbal with like the ursa this box is another box from camera goat yep it's another dolly bigger one <laughs> Man, their, their stuff looks really like top-notch, like the way it's, at least like just from first impressions, it looks like really well produced. That's it, there's still two more boxes over there, but I'm too tired to open them and it's, uh, and it's really late. See you guys next time, bye!